Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're doing the Sim Lab production series. Now this series is usually at Daytona Roval or some free tracks that users have like Charlotte. But today they've actually done the Oval course. So basically it's Mazda plus NASCAR, which I assume will equal chaos. So I'm about to do my qualifying lap. I'm running the lowest possible fuel amount so I can try to get on pole. Because you can't change the gearing, that's pretty much the only way to get a higher qualifying time. So, before I do get started, I'd like to thank Vi very much for sending me the headset. I've been having a blast making these videos. Still amazing, I can't get over it. Looking down at the road just there, like, there's the road right there. Anyway, we're about to start our hot lap, coming into the final corner under the green. Not really too sure what to do with the gears, because it maxes out at 5, but then it really bogs down in 6th gear. So I'm going to try shifting up to 6th. See if I'm gaining speed. No, I'm not. I've got to stay in fifth. I'm sure there'll be someone that knows how to get pole position and I'll say, oh, you need to shift to sixth out of the corners or something. But honestly, I'm just going to head down. I've got minimal fuel, so I'm just going to see if I can do a good quality time. Um, once I get up to about 215 k's per hour, I think that's when I need to shift up. Getting the low fuel warning, but that's okay. We're currently on a very low fuel set for this quali lap, but see how we go. Hopefully we can do okay. I really want to be in the pack because it's NASCAR, except in a lot more slippery Mazda, which should be great. We're about to start our final lap. A low 107 is pole time, so very curious to see how I went. I'm really not sure what to expect, but that's a 1082, so I'm about a good second off the pace. And I'm really not sure where to find that in all honesty, but I'm going to try 6th gear, just in case someone's screaming. Now we're losing a heap of speed because it bogs down, so probably already thrown this lap away, but we'll see how we go at the line. I've just finished the qualifying session, a 1082, I couldn't beat my best lap, and uh, we've been P6 for our class, right in the mid-pack, which will be exciting because these races are absolute chaos. These Mazdas are very slippy. They, um, they really tend to move around a lot under the, you know, the high speed, the wind, and you can't move up quickly to the top line like in a NASCAR. You really have to um, be smooth and precise or you'll lose the back end and there'll be big crashes. So I'm excited to see how we go. Two minutes till the grid. I'll see you guys when I'm there. Alrighty, guys, we're on the grid about to start our pacing lap. I've run just below full fuel, about 10 litres. No clue if it's enough to finish the race, so we might be finishing this race on the side of the track, but I say it's worth the risk for the speed. Everything is about slipstream and speed here because there's no corners. Get back here, We're doing a big oval, so it should be great. Good Just luck, seeing how we can push through, but near the front, make a couple moves and we'll be there. So we're about to start our pacing lap, and I can't wait to get started. We're about to go green. I'm in third gear, so I can get all the acceleration not sure how long to actually it might be your fourth gear start we've got a lot of momentum we're slowing down see how we go but pace cars in and it's green amazing start but i can't really do anything with it oh this is terrible got old mate diving down the middle i can't pass to the green line we're going three wide this is insane i've got the inside though which is good really bad start by the guy ahead which really jeopardized us Clear high, we're just running our own line right now. I think we're going to stick it in fifth gear, but hopefully no one comes down on us because I want to hold the inside. But Well, we're number three making some wishy-washy moves, but I think we're up with position. Oh, Mustang's smoking ahead, but we're running too wide. This is insane. Up into sixth gear for the slipstream. Oh, he's passing on the apron. That's a bit dodgy, but... I don't know if he was talking to me, but I had to slow down quite a bit. That Mustang sort of threw me off, but it's one on my high side, but we're currently in P4 or 5, which is pretty good. Just need to keep my line planted and hold the inside, because uh, everyone's getting slipstreams and stuff. Just holding that line, don't want to move. Oh, a bit of a Mustang crash ahead, but hopefully it doesn't interfere with us. Having to really slow down, getting a lot better run than this number two, but just like NASCAR, it's all about position in these kind of situations, so 
I'll just hold my line and hope we don't get taken out. I'm too focused to even look around at this point. Number five all over the shot. It's pretty scary, but he's going under the apron. What is he thinking? I'm not going to let him back in easily. What are you doing? Thinks he's allowed to just go on the apron and try and make a move, but it's going to be severely disadvantaged. Oh, wow, he's just come straight back into the lead almost. Really dirty driving from the number 10, but I'm going to try and send a move on the number 2. He squeezed me down. I've had to go off the apron. Onto the apron, sorry. Oh, big crash ahead. Can we get by? Can we get by? Beautifully, mate. We've just missed it. We've just missed that car. Oh, they got the heart racing. Bloody hell. Anyway, up into P4. <laughs> up into P4. Just saw that car coming up on me. Oh. Anyway. <laughs> Forward we go, they're running three wide ahead, hopefully something can happen there, but I'm just a little bit out of the slipstream, which is unfortunate, but hopefully they all move around trying to fight each other and in the end slow each other down, that's the goal, but we'll listen to these guys get upset at that number 10. They're all getting angry, but actually we'll take our focus off that, we've almost caught up to the whole pack here, we've caught up to the top three. We're in the slipstream now for sure, so... Oh, they made a bit of rubby bumpy contact. And that's a free position on the number one there. Not expecting me to come out of nowhere, and I've just made an easy position. Not really sure how many laps are left, so I'm not going to go for a move just yet, but... I'm just going to hold position and see if we can squeeze the number three out eventually. Push him behind, but... Secret is, it's just... Hold the yellow line. It's been a fantastic race so far. I hope you guys are enjoying. Absolute chaos and carnage, which is what we love to see, but that crash is insane. One to my outside still. I must say, this is harder than NASCAR. NASCAR is built for this, and Mazdas are not. So it's very skiddy, very light. Like you can see a lot of steering dead zone, which, yeah, it's insane. But just going to blast by the number three, cut his nose off a bit. We've got the slipstream, but he's oh, he's just holding the position, and I don't think bump drafting's a thing in these. They're very easy to spin, so I doubt he'd want to bump, but nothing I can do with this momentum as of now. I'm in second, it's not too bad. They've, uh, oh, he's got a slipstream, three wide on the back straight. Bit wishy-washy, the car itself. Getting to fifth gear so I can get a better run. Oh, it looks like there could be some contact ahead. Number one really squeezing the number four. I'm really in the thick of it now. Car on my outside. I'm going to back out of this one, actually. Just... We've got a few laps. Try and get by this number five, but... Got my slipstream. I can, yeah, blast straight past him. I've actually got quite a good run. See if I can slowly drift up behind the number one. And then cut it down to the inside and really cut him off. Oh, the car's all over the shop. That was dangerous, but we're okay, we're okay. Oh, we've got a huge slipstream, but can't really do anything with it, unfortunately. Oh, sorry, bud. Whoa! Oh, Jesus, he's been taken out. The Mustang's crashed into us! Holding the clutch. That's how we got away pretty decently. Oh, the Mazda. Well, that was a decent save for a big crash, but I'm sure we're going to be down on pace and all that, so... It's a shame getting the Mustangs that really push in places they shouldn't and cause big crashes like that. I want to see if I can box really quickly and get my fast repair going. Well, we passed someone in the pits, but we're in P5 right now, so... That's a shame, but more or less bringing the car home now. I don't think we'll get too much action. We're about to finish our final lap of the race. After that pit stop, nothing much really happened, but I hope you guys enjoyed that absolute carnage. That's all I can say at the start. That was really good racing. Thank you so much to Vive again for sending me this headset to make some videos with. I really enjoyed that race. I hope you guys did too. Remember to share. Check out Vive below. I'd highly recommend it for iRacing. It's an unexplainable experience, but let's go have a look at these crashes. Looking down at our culprit number one, 
Gets a fantastic slipstream, but oh, the Mustang tries to go for a gap that isn't there. Number one spins, I'm happy days. I'm thinking, oh yeah, perfect. Then the guy ahead gets tapped, then the Mazda taps the Mustang, I tap the Mazda. Gotta give it to myself, this is not the worst recovery. We can see they're both spinning ahead. Hold the clutch. 180. Keep driving like it didn't happen, but if we go to a TV camera, that was... It was a really big crash, a lot of people out for that one. Here it is from another angle, I tap the 4. The, oh, look at the Mustang coming. Oh, just misses me. Taps this guy, he's coming out of nowhere. Mustang goes up and hits the 5. Into me, into the, uh, into the Mazda ahead of me. We'll do a turn around. Both of these guys crashing huge, but overall we came P4 for the class. Had a fantastic race, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next video.